Welcome students, welcome to this digital fluid power session. This session we are going to see about the components of hydraulic system. Under this components of hydraulic system, we are going to see about the hydraulic accessories. So under this accessories, we are going to see about the types of accumulators. Okay, let's see about accumulators. What is mean by accumulators? So the main function of hydraulic accumulator is to store excess hydraulic energy and on demand make the stored energy available to the system. So the hydraulic system using accumulators are most efficient system because there is very little energy loss. So what are the types of accumulators? So there are three basic types of accumula hydraulic accumulators. First one is deadweight accumulator. It's a very old type. And the second one is a spring loaded accumulator. Third one is gas pressurized accumulator. Let's see about the how deadweight accumulator works. So this accumulator consists of a sliding piston in a cylinder. The piston rod diameter is much bigger. Much bigger. The oil under pressure usually from pump enters into the cylinder through port P. So this is port P. So that what happens? This piston, if there is a pressure, if there is more pressure that comes, this piston will move up. So the pressurized oil forces the piston upwards until it reaches post until it reaches piston B. Deadweight W kept on top of piston rod is in the form of concrete or steel or other heavy material. So this weight is chosen to exert predetermined pressure on the fluid entering the cylinder. So now according to the predetermined pressure, how much pressure we need, that according to the pressure, this load is calculated and kept on this piston and the other side of the piston rod. So when high pressure comes, that pressure is fluid, presses the forces the piston to move up, so that moves from position A to B. So when the piston reaches at point B, the accumulator is said to be fully charged. Now the oil in the cylinder is having pressure energy due to dead weight W acting on it. The energy is stored by oil in cylinder. So now when the system in which this accumulator is connected, it demands hydraulic oil under pressure, then this pressurized oil starts flowing out of port P. So when oil starts going out the piston, it will move down due to dead weight pressure of oil. Due to dead weight, pressure of oil will be maintained. So when there is a pressure needed, uh, extra pressure needed, right? that time automatically this will come down so that it come back to the original position. Advantages of dead weight accumulator. Here the pressure remains constant for full stroke due to dead weight. So this accumulator can supply large amount of oil under pressure. Now let's see the disadvantages. So these accumulators are bigger in size and how to and how to buy more and need to buy more space and are bulky. Let's see about the how spring loader accumulator. The spring loader accumulator is also it's like a dead weight accumulator. Instead of this weight, we are uh, replacing with the spring. So this is the spring. So open to the environment. This is the spring body and center is the spring. And this is the inlet port of the cylinder accumulator cylinder. Okay, this is the piston head. So this is a modified version of dead weight accumulator. So in this accumulator, there is a spring loaded piston which moves up and down in cylinder. So this is the spring loaded piston. It's move up and down. The oil and the pressure usually from pump enters into the cylinder through port P. So this is the port P. Through port B it enters into the cylinder. So this oil forces the piston upwards causing the spring to compress. So when high pressure oil comes inside, it makes the piston to move upward so that the piston kind of spring gets compressed. The top depth position of the piston shown by point B in the figure will be decided by full compression length of spring. So when piston reaches point B by fully compressing the spring, the accumulator is said to be fully charged. Once when the piston reaches the point position B, it is said to be fully charged. So now the oil in the cylinder will be having pressure energy due to resilience of the spring. Now when system in which this accumulator is connected, if demand if demands hydraulic coil under pressure, then spring starts expanding, 
there by pushing the piston downwards and pressure oil will come out of the port p whenever this uh, pressure is needed so that the hydraulic oil comes down so that the piston comes to the the initial position so when the spring will be fully expanded reaches reaches to its free length the pressure of oil coming out of the accumulator will be almost minimum now let's see the advantages of spring loaded accumulator all moving parts are enclosed in the cylinder no parts outside so it's completely enclosed previously dead dead weight accumulator that uh, dead weight dead weight is keeping outside of the cylinder here everything is comes enclosed in a cylinder, a cylinder. compact design if you use compound spring the design will be more compact and handy so let's see the disadvantages when spring starts expanding it gives up the stored energy very quickly and hence as spring start expanding the pressure of oil below the piston goes on decreasing so we cannot get uniform pressure in a stroke so when a spring is fully compressed its length is called a solid length due to the solid length the stroke of piston become limited as compared to dead weight accumulator now let's see the gas pressurized accumulator this is how this gas pressurized accumulator look like so the accumulator consists of a precharged gas chamber so this is a precharged gas chamber this is a chamber and a fluid chamber so this is the fluid chamber this is the gas chamber the fluid chamber is connected to the hydraulic system the chamber are separated by a bl blader a piston or any kind of a diaphragm as the fluid pressure at the accumulator inlet becomes greater than the precharge pressure the fluid enters the accumulator and compress the gas storing hydraulic energy a decrease in the fluid pressure causes the gas to decompress and discharge the stored fluid into the system so during typical operations the pressure in the gas chamber is equal to the pressure in the fluid chamber however if the pressure at the accumulator inlet drops below the precharge pressure the gas chamber becomes isolated from the system so in this situ situation the fluid chamber is empty and the pressure in the gas chamber remains constant and equal to the precharge pressure so the pressure at the accumulator inlet depends on the hydraulic system to which the accumulator is connected so if the pressure at the accumulator inlet builds up to the precharge pressure or higher fluid enters the accumulator again so this is how this gas pressure is accumulated so initially it was filled uh, initially it was empty now it, this bladder completely filled with the uh, gas so here we uh, they are filled with the nitrogen charge to precharge the pressure so now when the high pressurized fluid enters into this side so it will compress the bladder so that it maximum it will how much it will it can compress it can compress after that when the pressure is needed when the pressurized fluid is needed uh, when the low pressure is created this pressurized fluid will come down so that the bladder will increase from compressed stage to decompressed stage again it goes to expansion so the pressurized fluid will go and, go and compress this blader and once when needed once when the pressure is down from the reservoir side here the pressurized fluid will again come down while moving while expanding the blader so let's see the advantages of gas pressurized accumulator the accumulator is compact and light in weight gas bags of flexible materials like rubber, uh, rubber in bag gives quick response to minute changes in expansion and compression so it gives very quick response in changes in expansion and compression it is having very few functional parts and hence cheap disadvantages so pressure of outgoing oil will not be constant as gas bag goes on expanding the pressure of oil reduces so then, then the volume of oil stored in the accumulator is small we have to change the gas bag after specific period of service we cannot handle high temperature fluids in this accumulator so this is the symbol used for this gas pressure accumulator spring loaded accumulator and weighted accumulator 
let us see a video how this gas pressure uh, gas pressurized accumulator is working So this is how this gas pressure accumulator is working. Without gas pre-charge, it is just look like. So this is the bladder. So now yeah, the pre-charge of bladder is in process. The gas is filled. So this bladder is expansion. It will touch this lowermost point. Fully charged. Now it is done. So when the high pressurized fluid flows, so it compresses this bladder and it squeezes. So when the system requires oil. So this gas pressure pushes out. It will take it from the accumulator. So this bladder is com compressed and expanded while during charging. Now let us see a video of how this type of hydraulic accumulator is working. The main task of a hydraulic accumulator is to take a specific amount of fluid under pressure from the hydraulic system and store it until it is required within the system. In order to store energy in accumulators, the fluid in an accumulator is weight or spring loaded or pressured by a gas. There are three types of accumulators used in hydraulic systems. They are weight loaded, spring loaded, gas loaded or hydro pneumatic accumulator. A balance is maintained between the pressure in a fluid and the opposing pressure produced by the weight, spring or pressure created from the gas. Formulas for determining pressure are shown on the video. The following types of accumulators with separating elements are used in industries, piston, membrane, balloon or bladder accumulators. They differ in the way gas and liquid are separated. The main elements of a piston accumulator, body, piston, piston seal, fluid cap, gas cap, gas valve. Examples of applications Hydraulic accumulator will take the fluid when pressure will be increased and gas will be compressed and when pressure will be reduced. Compressed gas will expand to force the stored fluid to hydraulic circuit. In emergencies, for example if the power fails, a working closing stroke is carried out with the help of the energy present in the accumulator. Temperature expansion of the fluid may be compensated by using accumulators. In heating systems, a hydraulic accumulator is called an expansion tank. The expansion tank is partially filled with air, whose compressibility absorbs excess water pressure caused by thermal expansion. Okay, thank you students. Thank you for watching this session. So we'll see you in the next session.